Earth is a perfect sphere. Hey folks, did you know that Earth isn't a perfect sphere? It's actually an oblate spheroid, meaning it's squashed at the poles and bulging at the equator, kind of like that last balloon you overinflated at a party. The difference is small, though. Earth's equatorial diameter is about 26 miles more than its polar diameter. The Earth's crust is one solid piece. Ever thought the Earth's crust is just one big piece? Nope, it's actually made up of several tectonic plates that fit together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. These plates are always moving, causing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. They move about as fast as your fingernails grow. The core is completely solid. While we're talking structure, let's dive deep. Earth's core isn't entirely solid. The inner core is solid, sure, but the outer core is a swirling, molten metal soup. Imagine the most intense lava lamp ever. The temperature in the core can reach up to 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit. Continental crust and oceanic crust are the same. Not all crusts are created equal. Continental crust is like a thick, fluffy pizza crust, while oceanic crust is thin and crispy. Continental crust can be up to 25 miles thick, while oceanic crust is only about 3 to 6 miles thick. The mantle is molten lava. And speaking of lava, the mantle isn't a molten lava lake. It's mostly solid, but behaves plastically over geological time. Think of it as a very slow-moving caramel. The mantle makes up about 84% of Earth's total volume. Dinosaurs and humans coexisted. Contrary to what certain theme parks might suggest, humans and dinosaurs never hung out together. Dinosaurs went extinct around 65 million years ago, while humans have only been around for about 300,000 years. There's a bigger gap between us and dinosaurs than between us and the iPhone. Geological processes are always slow. Geological processes are like your favorite TV series. Some episodes are slow, but some are action-packed. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions can happen in the blink of an eye. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan shifted the Earth's axis by several inches in just a few minutes. Rocks are unchanging. Rocks aren't just sitting there doing nothing. They're busy transforming through the rock cycle, like actors in a never-ending makeover montage. A rock can change from igneous to sedimentary to metamorphic over millions of years. The age of Earth is debated. The Earth is like that friend who insists they're turning 30 for the fifth year in a row. But seriously, Earth is about 4.54 billion years old, and we've got the radiometric dating to prove it. Earthquakes only happen on fault lines. Sure, earthquakes love a good fault line, but they can also crash the party far from any plate boundary. Intraplate earthquakes, like the ones in the New Madrid seismic zone in the central United States, are prime examples. All earthquakes are destructive. Not every earthquake is a blockbuster. Many are so minor they're barely noticeable, like a cat tiptoeing through your house. The United States Geological Survey records about 500,000 detectable earthquakes each year, but only about 100 of them cause any damage. Volcanoes only erupt vertically. Volcanoes can erupt sideways, too. Remember Mount St. Helens in 1980? That volcano had a serious side hustle, blasting ash and debris laterally at over 300 miles per hour. A dormant volcano is extinct. Dormant doesn't mean dead. A dormant volcano is just taking a nap, and it can wake up any time. An extinct volcano, on the other hand, is down for the count. There are about 1,500 potentially active volcanoes worldwide. Tornadoes and hurricanes are the same. Tornadoes and hurricanes are like the Earth's way of showing off different party tricks. Tornadoes form over land from severe thunderstorms, while hurricanes spin up over warm ocean waters. The fastest wind speeds recorded in a tornado are over 300 miles per hour while hurricanes top out around 190 miles per hour. Climate and weather are the same. Climate and weather are not twins. They're more like distant cousins. Weather is what's happening right now, while climate is the long-term pattern. Climate tells you what clothes to buy, but weather tells you what clothes to wear today. Global warming and the ozone hole are the same. Global warming is all about rising temperatures, while the ozone hole is a gap in the ozone layer. They're different issues, like having a leaky roof and a broken thermostat. The ozone hole has actually been healing since we banned CFCs in the late 20th century. The greenhouse effect is bad. The greenhouse effect isn't inherently bad. It's the reason Earth isn't a giant ice cube. The problem is, we're turning up the heat too much by adding extra greenhouse gases. Without the natural greenhouse effect, Earth's average temperature would be about zero degrees Fahrenheit.
weather can be predicted accurately weeks in advance. Predicting weather weeks in advance is like trying to guess what mood your cat will be in next Tuesday. It's chaotic and unpredictable. Weather forecasts are reliable up to about a week in advance, and after that, it's anyone's guess. A cold winter means global warming isn't happening. A single cold winter doesn't mean global warming is taking a break. Climate is the long-term trend and it's still heating up. The past decade has been the warmest on record globally. The oceans are unchanging. The oceans are always on the move, changing levels, temperatures, and chemistry. They're like the world's largest, most complex soup. Sea levels have risen about eight inches in the past century due to climate change. Tsunamis are tidal waves. Tsunamis aren't tidal waves. They're more like the ocean's way of saying, surprise, after an underwater earthquake or volcanic eruption. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was caused by an undersea earthquake and resulted in waves up to 100 feet high. The deep ocean is lifeless. The deep ocean isn't a dead zone. It's teeming with life, like a dark, mysterious nightclub full of strange and wonderful creatures. Scientists estimate that there are between 500,000 and 10 million species living in the deep ocean. The ocean floor is flat. The ocean floor isn't some boring, flat expanse. It's got mountains, valleys, and plains, an underwater adventure park. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, is about 36,000 feet deep. Salt in the ocean comes from human activities. Most of the salt in the ocean comes from rocks on land and underwater volcanic activity, not human activities. The ocean has been salty for over 3 billion years. The moon's phases are caused by Earth's shadow. The moon's phases are about its position relative to the Earth and Sun, not our shadow. The only time Earth's shadow causes a phase is during a lunar eclipse. The sun is yellow. The sun only looks yellow from Earth. In space, it's a dazzling white star, shining bright and true. The sun's color appears yellow due to the scattering of blue light by Earth's atmosphere. The north star is the brightest star. Polaris, the north star, is like the guidepost of the night sky, but it's not the brightest star. That honor goes to Sirius, which is twice as bright as any other star visible from Earth. Space is completely empty. Space isn't a total vacuum. It's got dust, gas, and other particles. It's just a very sparse place compared to our atmosphere. There are about 1,500 atoms per cubic meter in the interstellar medium. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the Great Wall of China isn't visible from the moon. You need to be in low Earth orbit, and even then, conditions have to be just right. It's like spotting a human hair from two miles away. Fossil fuels come from dinosaurs. Fossil fuels mostly come from ancient marine organisms, not dinosaurs. Think of tiny plankton and algae, not T-Rex. It takes millions of years for these organisms to transform into coal, oil, and natural gas. All fossils are millions of years old. Not all fossils are ancient. Some are practically newborns, from the Ice Age, which ended about 11,700 years ago. That's just a blink in geological time. All minerals are rare. Not all minerals are rare. Many are abundant and essential for our daily lives, like quartz and calcite. Quartz is the second most abundant mineral in Earth's continental crust. Gold is the most valuable metal. Gold is valuable, but it's outshined by metals like platinum and rhodium in terms of value. Rhodium, for instance, can be worth about 10 times more than gold per ounce. Diamonds form from coal. Diamonds form deep within the earth under high pressure, high temperature conditions, not from coal. It's more glamorous than that. Most diamonds are over a billion years old.